Now, Rogers, tell us about that extraordinary voice. It was Mr. Owen, sir. In his letter, he wrote to me to put it on the gramophone once you were all settled in here after dinner. That was Mr. Owen's voice? You doubt that it was? No, no, no. I thought I recognized it. I'm sure I'm mistaken. A disgraceful practical joke. You think it was a joke? What else could it be? I will need to hear more evidence before offering an opinion. Comfortably. Whoever it was on that recording, that person knows or has taken the trouble to find out a good deal about us all. He was correct about Seton. I presided at the trial, but all I did was execute a guilty man. I remember the case. As I recall, there was some talk. Happily, guilt and innocence are decided by those of us qualified to make a judgment, not by gossip. Of course, there is one omission in that recording. Mr. Narricot, of course. Although to hear Mr. Bloor tell it, he might have earned a place on that list had Mr. Owen been so inclined. 